So I'm out here at Home Depot, 75th Avenue and McDowell with uh, Carlos. Carlos, how you doing? I'm doing okay. I've had better days. Homeless on the streets, you know, being easy. How long you been homeless? I've been homeless for three years. More than four years since I got out of prison. Oh, uh, I parked at the Chevron to get some gas and you came up to me to, uh, you know, to wash ask. your windows, yeah. I washed windows and I asked for a change to get um, by through the day to get some money in my pocket and to do what I do as some perk sets and I, uh, I have like a, a really bad blood disease this is like a result of some of it right here I don't know if you can see it but it's like a big um, a swelling with like pus and stuff around it. it it comes out I get it all over my body you see my hands i get it all over my whole body it's um valley fever called valley fever it's called valley fever now the thing about valley fever is um it's uh it kills people usually it's deadly it's the most deadly disease known to mankind but i have a, some type of immunity to it so where it's not killing me um it's uh, it causes a blood fungus that usually kills people because it pulls in dust mites, it changes the theromones in your body. And the theromones is what tells um, people around you or whatever, like, um, you know, how you're feeling and stuff, and it like makes you approachable or not approachable. Um, it, it gives off the chemicals, um, like a trajectory, uh, a path, if you will, um, that tells, other people's bodies, you know, this guy, it, this is his theromones. Um, if you like him, you know, you'll be attracted to me. If they like me, they'll be attracted to me. Or if not, you know, it's, it's what attracts and and repels people. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, Are so you, what it does is it changes that, um, it changes that chemistry uh -huh. and it pulls in dust mites. And the dust mites, they grow, they go into your, your nail follicles and they grow inside of your body and you get blood poisoning. Got it. Yeah. And uh, do you have any children? I have three children. Is Carlos Armando Hernandez Jr., Manuel Leon Hernandez, and Serenity Marie Villa Valdez Hernandez. When's the last time you saw your kids? I haven't seen them since CPS took them, or DP. What is it now? Um, Department of Child Safety, DCS. Yeah. Um, Department of Child Safety. They took them, and I haven't seen them in about like 10 years, more or less. Yeah, like eight, nine years. And uh, do you think one day, do you hope that you'll be off of uh, the drugs that you're consuming one day? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, this is, this valley fever, it's a, it's a, um, it's a fatal disease. It, it'll eventually it will kill me. Yeah, I will die from it. It's uh, it's worse than it's, it's worse than cancer. It's because it, it it goes into your to your bones. It goes into your skin. It's like a cancer. It's it's actually um, really. They say the only the actual the only actual way to imagine having it is to have leukemia. It's the closest. Um, disease that it's related to that does the same stuff and that's just part of it got it so it's worse than leukemia where did you uh, stay last night I stayed I stayed over there by the mall I stayed by the mall and I have a little place where I, where I lay down I put a blanket down I had a tent but it got stolen I had a tent a blanket it got taken and I don't know where that's at I had a piano a keyboard piano basically blanket inside of there and it just got taken at, at Circle K. I got kicked out of Circle K yesterday. They kicked you out of Circle yeah. K? Yeah, I got, uh, I got, what's it called, trespass. Trespass? Yeah. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling okay. I ain't feeling too bad. This um, disease gets me really tired. It gets me like really worn out. I, my bones are always hurting. I'm sore. I usually get feverish. I get really bad fever sometimes, like every day. It's really crazy. Um, no one's last, people last like a, a day or two, 
for like a week and then they die from the disease, from valley fever. I lasted already eight, nine years. And um, what advice do you give to uh, young folks out there thinking about using drugs? Any uh, Anything you'd like to tell them? Well, the reason I use drugs is because I am suffering from a fatal disease. That's no excuse, but I was a crack smoker for 13 years and for 13 years or 15 years now I can say that I'm honestly clean off of crack cocaine. I haven't touched this stuff and I don't plan to touch it. I've never smoked any crack cocaine ever again. Yeah I smoked for 13 years and I've been clean for 15. That's an accomplishment. Good job with that. Thank you. Um, and uh, how can people help you? They can help me by um, Asking me, you know, if I have a place to stay and allowing me to stay with them and getting my ID. An ID when you're homeless is like the main thing. Right? It's hard to get because you don't got a mailing address. And that's like the, what you need the most to go get a job or whatever. You can need an ID. So like to get an ID, that's a, that's a good way to help. Okay, so people can help and you by helping you get an ID. Get an ID and... and me stay somewhere that's like a residential home or anywhere where it's not on the street where I can take showers every day because of my disease it's important I stay clean right I clean off of like dirt like dirt you know I like drugs but dirt like drugs is gonna be in my in my routine um, for the rest of my life because it's gonna be management you know it's gonna be pain management amongst other things <sighs> Okay, and um, is it like dangerous, kind of violent out here, or no? No, not since I've been out here, it hasn't been violent. Uh, a lot of people steal stuff, but it's not a violent place. It's a really, actually, I was saying in Sun City, Sun City is a more violent than it is here. Yeah, Sun City is like a real bad area right now. It's a bad area because yeah. there's a lot of folks that do blues or... Well, no, is that, yeah, there's that. And there's, um, it's just like the hospitals are there. And I'm not sure what we're going through as a society, but I think we're going through like some type of, uh, of apocalyptic um, uh, era in our time. And the hospitals are probably false. You think so? So yeah. uh, we're going through an epidemic worldwide. Epidemic, yes. Yeah, That's yeah. Really it's uh, affecting the hospitals. A lot of people are being getting sick of a COVID virus. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, any last words, anything else you'd like to share with the audience, with the YouTube like, world? Yeah, I'd like to share um, one thing. Uh, my name is Carlos Simon Hernandez, and God is, is exists. God, God does exist. Um, believe in one God. Believe that you will not interfere with the path of another person, and that you will not commit evil against God. And that uh, um, God is a uh, man. You don't have to pray to anyone else, but just ask God for what you need. And God will provide. God is here for us every day. God loves everyone. And God will always take back um, any bad things that you have done in your past and make it so it did not happen. If you ask God, right, and you ask God precisely exactly what you need, God will not let you down. And God is more working miracles daily. I know this for a fact. I have seen plenty of miracles. I'm a walking miracle. Staying alive for 10 years from this valley fever. I'm the only survivor ever in history to last this long for Valley Fever. Awesome. Ever in history. Awesome. Because I'm a walking talking miracle. Good, good. That's uh, that's definitely an uh, uh, act of God. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask God to help you, protect you, guide you, thank and you. watch over you, brother. Okay, so thank, thank you. you for talking to us. Right. We wish you the best of luck, okay? That's beautiful. Thank you, man. Thank you, brother. I love you, and I love y'all for uh, feeding me, giving me some water, and opportunity to um, talk to everyone that they'll be able to hear my words, and I won't be forgotten. Thank you. Awesome, brother. You're loved right, out there, yeah. okay? Bye. Thank you.